You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone. No, no, no. And welcome to another fun episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. Welcome to episode number 934. All kinds of energy around this studio today, and we are so glad that you're here with us. Appreciate it. <laughs> so much energy, full of wonderment. Um, <laughs> yes, very excited today, as we're going to be talking about the Phantom 2 Pro versus Phantom 2 Zoom versus... I just messed all that up. Mavic 2 Pro versus Mavic 2 Zoom versus Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now that DJI sent me the Mavic 2 Enterprise series... Thank you, DJI. Yes. Um, I kind of am going to go off the rails on this because after, like, so I've flown all the Mavics now. And we have the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And this particular question today is going to be very specific about mapping objects and optics, you know, with this particular drone. But after having the Mavic 2 Enterprise, I'm stunned. Stunned that this is not a consumer offering. Hmm. That it's just an enterprise offering. So just, what's the distinction there? What's the significance of that distinction? It's the speaker. It's the app that it's flown through. So DJI, the Mavic 2 Enterprise is flown through DJI Pilot. But anybody can buy it, right? I think so. You just have to go to an enterprise dealer to buy one. Oh, okay. So they're not going to carry them at Costco, for example. Yeah. Or at Best Buy or Correct. any of those places, what you're saying. Correct. Kinda. Okay. Just trying to make sure that, I understand that distinction. That being said, as a creative artist, and mm-hmm. after using the Mavic to Enterprise just for three days now, wow. Digging it. Oh, hmm. so much fun to fly. So many new things I can do. So many fun, creative things that I've never been able to do before that now I'm able to do. Hmm. You can really enhance storytelling with it. Yes, yeah. it's it's fantastic for inspections, especially HVAC, roof inspections, especially um, maybe EO power line inspections. And I say EO as electrical optical, meaning they're not thermal. Um, it's a fantastic little machine. It packs so much value. And I'm just shocked that, I mean, I'm going to do a video on this on YouTube coming up here soon about how I think it's like one of the best drones, hands down, best drone for your business, Phantom 4 Pro version 2 or Phantom 4 Pro. Best drone, hands down, for a creative artist is going to be the Mavic 2 um, Enterprise or the Mavic 2 Pro. I love my Mavic 2 Pro. The images out of it are unreal. The Hasselblad uh, JPEG recipe is one of my favorites. Hmm. Um also, the dynamic range and the 10-bit color really offer unreal pictures, but the zoom and the creative capabilities of the Mavic 2 Enterprise are just unreal. If, you, if even, like, as a sophisticated in technology family man, I wouldn't want anything but the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So. Interesting. But let's go ahead and play today's question, uh, which is brought to you by our friends at the Drone U community. If you'd like access to over 30 classes, resources, and so much more, you're going to want to become a member. And soon in our community, I'm going to be filming a video talking about what changes are we making this year because there's a lot. A couple of them are already in progress, trying to speed up our delivery of more quality content and a couple of things. And those messages will be coming soon, community, so look out for them. Hey, guys. It's Joe down in Omaha, Nebraska. A uh, question for you today is about the Mavic Pro to Zoom. So... I know that the, when these guys came out that the Mavic Pro 2 doesn't have a mechanical shutter and that there were questions about it not being so good for mapping. I don't remember anything being said about the Zoom if it had a mechanical shutter. And also about having a smaller sensor size. It's so looking at the Z30, and I know it has a smaller sensor, but then um, the sales guy said, not to worry about it due to the, it's all in the optics. So, and my brother, he is, has a Phantom 3 Pro that he's done some modeling and some mapping with, and the stuff has turned out looking all right. I don't know. Just uh, what's your opinion on all this? Uh, that'd be awesome to get your advice. Thanks. Bye. 
Thank you, Joe. Appreciate the question. Um, Happy New Year. It's the 15th. I think, yeah. I think as of the 15th, we can stop saying Happy Happy New Year, which is the date that it is here as we record these episodes. Huh? That is Cantonese for uh, Happy New Year. Oh, very cool. Interesting. So, Anyways, um, so yeah, he's talking about the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom, the Z30. He even threw a Phantom 3 Pro in there. So, you know, he asked the question, he's like, my buddy's been doing some mapping with Phantom 3 Pro. Can I, can I really get, you know, results? Yeah, you can get results. You can model stuff. Your point density is going to be low. Your accuracy is going to be low. Uh, you're not really going to be able um, to get the detail that I think that anyone who's familiar with mapping has come to see. Mm-hmm. Now, that being said, I'm still in the middle. I, I just got the images back of the UH-60 Huey. At the NTSB training, I flew the Huey with three different drones, and then I flew with three different acquisition strategies on one particular um, bird Hmm. um, just to ensure that the instructions that I gave people were accurate, which after running all the tests, they were, and that makes me really happy because I even was like, screw this, I'm going off the rails. And I just shot it all willy-nilly, and and that did not work. The, The formulas that I've created after doing those MLB jobs uh, are still true to this day in 3D modeling. So Hmm. uh, really happy about that. But that being said, I got the Mavic 2 Zoom, flew it around, zoomed in. Whenever you're mapping something with Zoom, the focal length has to stay the same. So what that means is if you're using a camera with Zoom to do mapping, the Zoom cannot change throughout the entire map. In fact, if you actually go look on old helicopters with cameras that were doing photogrammetry, you'll notice that on the lens there's actually a screw, a physical screw, to screw in the lens to make sure that the focal length does not change Hmm. at all from photo to photo. Otherwise, you're going to have crazy relative error and the map's going to suck. So I'm still testing the Mavic 2 Zoom. I actually just started the processing today, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll see what point density shows up. We'll see how the, the, the mesh looks. We'll see how the point cloud looks. Um, if you want to see the existing UH-60 helicopter map, you can go to our Sketchfab page. It's just sketchfab.com forward slash drone U. And you can check out our model on the UH-60 that is there. It's one of the most recent models. In fact, pulling it up right now. Yep, it is still there, still looking fresh and beautiful as always. <laughs> um, that being said, I honestly don't know the answer to the question. I think that the Mavic 2 Zoom can be used for uh, for mapping, doing models, like 3D models, not 2D maps. Again, that accuracy reigns king with the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, but if we're talking about models, there may be a, there may be a potential use case for it. Hmm. What were his other questions, though? He had some more questions about optics and using zoom. Oh, that's right, Z30. So the Z30 has a 2 megapixel sensor so that it can zoom in as far as it does, and it is 2 megapixels. When you pull up a picture, it looks like an iPhone picture from the first iPhone. Uh, very grainy. <laughs> so, no, really. Like, no, I know. I know. It's just funny. <laughs> Put it in those terms. Um that being said, now can you fly further away from an object with the Z30 and take a close-up picture and get details of like welds and get details of, you know, cracks in pipes? Yeah, you're going to get a much better image with the Z30 than you would say a Mavic 2 um, Enterprise or a Mavic 2 Zoom. Now remember the Mavic 2 Enterprise is a Mavic 2 Zoom just with all the accessories. The Mavic 2 Enterprise though, it would be if it could be flown closer, say like 50 or 60 feet from an object, You could zoom in a little bit. I mean, it's not a crazy amount of zoom, but you can take a usable picture, a 12 megapixel picture, and get great detail. So here's a perfect example, right? If I'm flying an HVAC unit with an M600, which I don't think anyone would do this because it's just so impractical to drive around with an M600 in your car. Mm. Um, He takes M600 out, Z30. He could probably fly 1,000 feet away and read the barcode on the HVAC unit. The only reason you would do that is mm. to show that you can do that. Yeah, pretty much. Right. With a Phantom, you'd have to fly within about five to six feet of an object to get a usable picture. And with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, you'd have to fly about 10 to 15 feet, maybe 20 feet away, zoom in fully, take the picture, blow up the picture, and look at it. I actually just recently showcased this in the DroneU community. So if you're listening to this show and you're a member, go into the community and check out the three examples that I just did with the Mavic 2 Enterprise. 
because it is not only very useful for creative cinematic purposes, but it's also extremely useful on a practical level for anyone doing home inspections, roof inspections, HVAC inspections. General contractors and construction managers are going to love this drone. Hmm. Just, I mean, it, it is a powerhouse. So Yeah, you are uh, definitely all over it. Uh, I actually have a headache now <laughs> from talking so much. <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding. I have a headache right now. So I think to answer his question, you know, it always just depends on the deliverable, Rob. And what drone is he going to need? When it comes to mapping, the best quality 2D maps are going to be the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, anything with a global shutter really going to help out. No global shutter in the Mavic 2 Enterprise, but it could be great for 3D models, not necessarily 2D maps. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to buy a Phantom, um, so why do I keep saying Phantom? If you're going to buy a Mavic 2, buy the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So much more flexibility. If you're just taking pictures, Mavic 2 Pro. But if you're doing pictures and video, highly recommend yeah, and I think we would recommend, generally speaking, to buy more than you think you'll need, right? Because the cost difference isn't that significant. No. And more likely than not, you're going to end up in a situation in which you wish you would have purchased the one you didn't get that has more capabilities. True. Because uh, if you stick with it and you continue to work your craft, invariably you're going to end up wanting to do more work in areas that you didn't think you would. Um, except for those that plan on that, that's even better. Gotcha. But gotcha. Cool. Hope that helps. I hope it helps as question, well. Joe. I hope it helps as well. Joe so. uh, is another one that sends in a lot of questions, and we definitely appreciate that. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, when you have a question, girls, when you have a question, go to Ask Drone You, upload it. We are not uh, gender specific, so we would love questions from everybody. doesn't matter Please. who you are. Please. Because we believe in helping everyone out. We don't like to pick and choose. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs>